With the homestead's flooding and drainage issues solved. OK, guys, grab a block. Marty, Jimmy, and Tony break ground on a critical new livestock barn. This is a goat pen. Nice. Now, you notice, guys, we brought in this material, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can, see the, you can see the marked difference between that material, which is going to compact, mm -hmm. and this, which is never going to compact. Mm -hmm. So the goats will start off with a brand new footprint. Mm -hmm. It'll be good on their hooves, mm -hmm. and it won't be saturated mud. Mm -hmm. But we also took out quite a bit of material that had you yeah. know, poop and yeah. and mud yeah. and craziness and yeah. old straw and yeah. feed. Yeah. And we scraped that off. I mean, yeah. has there been a transformation out here or what? A yes, total it is. transformation, yeah. yes. for sure. It's nice and clean, leveled off. We're starting over, guys. Tupelo, Mississippi. It's where Elvis Presley was born. In fact, Elvis Presley was a homesteader. His dad built their little white house in these very forests. So it just snapped into my brain. We have to build a goat barn on the Hill Homestead and make it an exact replica of Elvis's birthplace. We'll try to keep it on the down low, and at some point, maybe they'll see the resemblance and say, wait a minute, that looks like Elvis's house. But right now, we're getting the foundation laid. Marty will construct a 12 by 24 foot enclosed goat barn with entrances on each end, a section for birthing and milking, and a covered porch. First phase of Heartbreak Goatel. These are supposed to be five off the fence. Did you say five off the fence? Yeah. I'm assuming so you can walk all the way around it. Yes, ma'am. OK. And goats can walk around it. Yeah. I am a lifelong learner, so I enjoy learning everything. So anything anybody wants to teach me, I am like, yes, teach me that. Yeah, I'm so excited about all of it. I'm going to take one of these and go this way. You're going to take one and go that way. Ready? Right on top. After two years of being on a property that just is nothing but mud, you could be discouraged. So when you see the homesteaders investing in the workload that takes place, you're inspired. You're motivated, you're impressed, and you want to help that family even more. This is the kicker. Is it level? Mm. That's perfect. OK, now one more to the back side, guys. OK. You guys do it on your own. Later that day. Hey, guys, the first wall is framed. Marty gathers the troops to get the goat barn's walls vertical. This is the plan. We're going to all get around this wall. We're going to carry it over to here. This wall is going to be up, and it's going to be on those blocks. Remember when you guys leveled those blocks? Right now, it's raining, so the wood's going to want to slide. Your feet are going to want to kick out when you're trying to push that wall over your head, OK? So it's dangerous. You don't want the wall falling back on anybody. Let's me and Matt get out here on that outside corner. You guys stay on this side. Try to stay as non-muddy as you can. Reach down, grab a hold of it. OK, pick up. OK, very slowly start walking. Very slowly. Very slowly. Watch that, watch that block, watch the block. Whoa. Are you all right? Get your leg out of there. Are you OK? I'm good. Mm -hmm. OK, set it down, please, set it down. That kind of stuff I do not like. Dude, are you all right? Mm-hmm. Are you OK? Mm-hmm. All right. Watch your surroundings. Thank you, Dad. When we roll into a homestead, we have two choices. Do all the work ourselves on three. One, two, three. Or have the homesteaders roll up their sleeves, get their hands dirty, and break a sweat. What do you think? It's beautiful. I like it. Let's go get the next one. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. I love that countdown, by the way. I do it all the time. Do not push me. Let me pull you. You guys look very competent. All right, now I need to slide it this way. Two feet. Go. Looking good. OK, now just like when you guys made it perfectly level, mm -hmm. now we want to make it perfectly plumb. Just a quick way to kind of square things up. That's perfectly a 90 degree angle, right? Mm -hmm. So every corner of every house is perfectly 90 degrees. 
to make this perfect, all you do is put that in there, mm. kick this wall, that wall over until that marries up. Okay. And that'll save us a lot of time later on after we have all the weight on it. Okay. Okay, boom. Need a little more. It's, it's all the way in there, yeah, it's a square. The cool thing about this family is all six members are interested in everything we do, eager to learn. This is Homestead Gold. Why? Because they can apply that after we leave. You know what to do. We need to pick that end up back your way. Feels like you got it. Good job, young man. All right, Dad, pin that thing. All right. I think seeing success on Homestead is huge, especially my kids, because this is about building a legacy, and I want them to learn some skills, and for this to be a space where they can always feel proud of, it's priceless. I put a few screws in these walls, but who packed them over and put them together? We did. We did. Exactly. Who squared them up? We did. We did. Exactly. And who's going to put the last wall on here and take ownership of their own barn? We are. Yeah. Good answer. All right. <laughs> this is going to be a pretty cool barn. On the other side of the homestead, Jimmy and Tony put the finishing touches on the new goat barn. OK, from the Elvis house, all of this is white. Mm -hmm. It's just really exciting to see like a good sound structure being put up on the homestead. We have such a good environment for the goats. I like my goats to be very happy, which means when their time comes, they'll make good milk, and that's what I need them to do. It's almost like a Kodak moment, you know? <laughs> I don't know if I can say Kodak. Can I say Kodak? <laughs> they painted it. They did it. Well, hey, partner. You painted the whole thing. Yeah. And you did a good job. Look at it. It's amazing. You're not afraid of work, are you? No. Just got to know what to do right. <laughs> That's the main thing. Amen. All right. Seven days ago, the Hills goats ran amok on hazardous mud and muck. Now, the yard is dry, and they have a safe and secure home where they can be milked and bred without exposure to contaminants. All right. So there you have it. We have a separation in the front of the building here where she could milk goats or maybe even have baby goats. You can access the main aspect of the barn through this little gate, big barn doors in the back, and I'm standing in front of Heartbreak Goatel.